Okay, so without further ado, we will start the live today. I'm Alex here. This is Joy I'm with Joy. me. I'm Joy. Okay. Hi. We oh. are, um, of course, we are from Propnex. Um, mm. So uh, I've, I've been in the industry for about four years now. Alex, uh, how long have you been in the industry? 18 years. 18 years? Yeah, 18 years. I don't know how old you guys think he is, but he's only in his mid-30s. Yeah. So I think you can calculate. This is probably his your first job. Yeah, my first job wow. when I was very, very young. But wow. So 18 years in the industry, but I mean, we have done many, many different things. Lah. But today, I think the real estate industry, what thing is lagging is about the data and the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because we've got a lot of data that is available in the market, but uh, to interpret the data is not easy. Yeah, agree. Uh, so we actually, we have our tools, all this to help us. Lah. I mean, that's important. Mm -hmm. But we also spend many hours to go and do research. And yeah. of course, also based on our on-the-ground experience, when we see properties, when we view properties, we know what are the things that we want to what, want to have, what are the things that we do not want to have. So yeah. today, we are just going to share one small part with you. Uh, because which we do not have is, so yeah. long. Uh, which is? About layout so as you can see over here right today the main topic will be on layout and so the first thing first what we want to talk about is what kind of layout will affect your property price in a bad way and we are not going to name any of these developments but if you can guess good for you if you are currently living in that also good for you okay <laughs> so first thing okay when we See certain layout. These are the layouts we want to try to avoid. Okay? And one of it is a curved and rounded layout. Alex, do you see do you still see this kind of layout in today's market? Not? Yes, but I don't dare to tell you which project. So usually when you see layout like that, like curved, round, balcony, it's mainly because of one thing. It's to make sure the building looks very nice. Mm. Usually they have the very nice architect, all these things, then it will really affect this. Lah. Uh, so yeah. you go and think, lah. I don't want to mention, but you go and think <laughs> what project have very nice architect. Can I say, Joy, that when we have very nice whole building, like very modern, very nice uh, design, means that the layout is bad. Okay, not necessarily so, but actually internally we have these like ongoing mm. jokes. We always, most of the very beautiful architects of facade that we saw, right? Mm. Usually, inside the layout, it's a bit cannot make it, yeah. So, <laughs> so, right, and this is one of them, and uh, I do believe maybe some of you know where this development is at, okay? So this is something that we want to avoid, first thing first, mm. right? So, next on to the second one. And good and irregular layout. Wow, yes. this one. Frankly, this, lay this kind of layout, right? HDB of certain era also have. Mm. I don't know if you guys are li currently living in one or not, but do you want to share a bit on why this kind of angled layout is not really preferred? How it go back, huh? You look at these two layout, they both have angled room. Uh. So angled room means that your furniture, you can't really place it in the right. right. Mm. Once you place a bed, uh, then the whole room is like getting, become very small. Uh. So cuts, this one same thing. It in into your living yes. space. Uh. So you see this master bedroom, uh, how I put? I also don't know. Then I have my wardrobe here. Then I put my uh, the toilet here. Then where's my bed? I put it here. It will block yeah. the entrance. True. Yes. Not very functional. Uh. Mm. For some people who see feng shui, right? I think this kind of angle layout is also not preferred. There was actually one time when a client of mine wanted to buy a particular unit. But this unit do not have irregular layout. But they are looking towards a pointed layout. And the, that was the reason why they didn't proceed with the purchase. Looking towards a what? Pointed, like it was, oh, the living so room was out. facing oh. a pointed angle. Yeah. Oh, so okay. some people can be quite particular. So mm. this kind of, the kind of thing that you want to avoid. You need or layout that you want to avoid can be quite easily spotted. Today, we are not just here to run through with you what are the things that you want to avoid. Because these are things that is quite clear. When you see the unit, uh, it's very obvious that this is not something that you want to go for. But we are not saying that this kind of property wouldn't make money. It's just that it's harder to dispose, it's harder to sell, mm. maybe you make lesser profit. Yeah. But if you buy at the right time, you might still make some money. Like if you buy this property 30 years ago, you'll still make money today. Like. So the next one. Okay, the main thing here is with the pillars. The, the kitchen also very nice. Eh? i give you a hint. Mm. Typically, this kind of layout with pillars, right? They are located along the seaside. Or rather sea view because the intention is to have the entire development open up 
so you can have the full sea view. So which means that you have a pillar right in between your balcony lah. <laughs> so weird. Like if you want to put a, don't know, like a chair outside in the balcony, you can even put a like proper chair, you know. Okay, I'm just going to review where, where is this lah. So <laughs> where is this lah, Joy? <laughs> don't fault me, it's reflection. So this is actually reflection. So if you see reflection lah, uh, because why I want to review is that I can explain a bit more to you. When you drive past, you see some very tall blocks that is the, you know, the icon of reflection, right? Those are the blocks that come with bins. But when you drive into reflection, there's some short block also. Those short one uh, is the squarish and nice layout one. But very rare. Very rare. So yeah. actually, if you go and see reflection itself, uh, those short one usually make money. So taller one usually don't make so much. Mm. I what have difficulty the... selling. Mm. Alex, what is the highest loss in reflection? Well, I can't remember. I think it's 6 million. I, I don't know whether I'm right. You are right. 6 million. Yes. Yes. Correct. Huh? Mm. The highest gain is also 6 million. Uh, right? I, I myself, when I walk in, I really feel the space, everything. But the taller blocks is the problem. So, uh, the higher you go, uh, the worse it becomes. <laughs> Because the beam can be in your living room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the beam cannot stream. Uh. The beam is one line down. Uh. It can be in the balcony of this unit. Uh, but it can be in the living room of the uh, certain unit below. So yeah. that's the problem. I got, I got something to share. So for our analysis, right? Typically, you will not see us analyzing this kind of very beautiful projects. Mm. Because every single floor, the layout is like so different. Yeah. It will be very challenging for us to analyze. It's not that we don't want to, but it's really very challenging. Okay, next okay. one. Huh? Mm. Excessive unusable space. Okay, I tell you what. This layout over here, I attempt to sell before. <laughs> Took me more than a year to dispose. Where is this? This is actually King Albert Park residences. Oh. You know where your old McDonald's is at? Mm. The so ground the floor problem unit. With this? So for this particular unit over here, right, you can see that the balcony, this part over here, it takes up close to half of the actual living area. So frankly, even let's say for example, this size maybe is like 850 square feet, but the actual living space may be less than 400 or so. Essentially, you are paying the extra bucks for space that you can't really use, right? Mm. And if you see this over here, this one, do you want to make a guess where this place is? This is actually an integrated development, you know. A lot of people think that integrated development sure make money, right? Yeah. Which is true to a certain extent. Is this Bedok residence? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, integrated don't make money, there's only a handful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. as you can see over here, right, the bedroom only can put a single bed because the excessive space goes to the balcony. Mm. I ever visited this development once with a client of mine. I can only say that the living space is really very, 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 very sad. I know what's the biggest problem here. What? Because when there's a balcony here, yeah. it means that here is sliding door. Yes. Then the bed, uh, you cannot do a queen size and fit to the window. Yeah. Because if it's the normal unit, I still can push it back to the window. I still can have a queen size. So I'm totally impossible. Because once yes. I do this, I cannot open the door. Yeah. No, so that particular unit that I saw, right, what happened was that they removed the sliding door. Oh. Then they extended out. Which, to me, is frankly very... It's a very, very weird combination. There is also one balcony here. For the master bedroom. Okay, next. Bay window and planter box. Okay, so we all know about the new thing about the harmonization, right? I think some of you should have heard it. Some of you would not know what is harmonization. It means that the aircon latch cannot be calculated into the GFA itself, which means that the developer cannot sell the AC latch. La. What I'm trying to explain here is that there's many eras in terms of the, the layout because uh, mm. government do change a lot of time when they, they changed the ruling that the, how the developer could sell. So yeah. at one point, developer could charge you for the bay window and the planter. But at a certain time, the government said that we can't read it, you, you can't do that. Okay, so the developer start to take out bay window from the layout mm. itself. 
So this one is no more now. This one, <laughs> next. PPVC. Okay, based on my own understanding, lah, right? They built all our, say, toilets or bomb shelter elsewhere. Then they ferry over. Yes. <laughs> transport so, over. So, so I just want to ask, uh, I was at outside Midtown Modern. Uh, you will start to see now they deliver the toilets, the bedroom. Mm. Uh, that, which means uh, you, you go out, it's really like a toilet. So they built the whole thing in the factory. So sometimes at night when you drive, uh, you, on, the, on the road, you'll see huge truck. Uh, they take one whole room uh, to deliver from one place to another. So this is what we call PPVC. Mm. Which means, uh, what is the problem with PPVC? Cannot hack. So the whole black wall uh, cannot hack. You yeah. can only hack here only. In this case, in this um, layout, mm. right? Let's say your living and dining is here, right? And you are someone who probably don't need so many bedrooms. You want to hack off this wall? You can't. So this might be a factor for people who like to hack la. The problem with PVVC is not just hacking. Is the wall is thicker than normal wall. So you do you all know ah uh, when we calculate our square feet uh, we calculate based on like that. So ah uh, all mm. the walls inside uh, are calculated into your square footage. So which means that you have thicker wall, you will have smaller interior. Uh, here, add a bit, there, add a bit, add a bit, maybe you'll lose maybe 10 square feet or, or, or true, whatever. True, true, so, true. Yeah. Uh, so, mm. that's the problem with PVVC. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so, these are the other layouts that you want to avoid. Of course, you can see a whole list of them. Like, whether like dry and wet kitchen, you have your bomb shelter. This day still got bomb shelter, I don't know. Because right now, some bomb shelter are like in the staircase area, right? Yeah. Yeah, then you have got the open concept or an, or those kind of uh, enclosable kitchen, private leaf or not, then you got dual key. Well, frankly, uh, before I even become a real estate agent, uh, I didn't know that buying house is so complicated. Like. It's just a layout. Uh, but this layout itself, right, actually affects your profit in ways that you can't imagine. So, the, which is why Alex is going to share next one on how this layout will affect your property prices. So just now we are sharing about a uh, layout that is not good. Now we will run through with you uh, how do we differentiate and know what are the type of layout that we want. Uh, regardless whether is it layout or is it the bedroom type that we are buying, is it the price that we are buying, you always need to understand one thing which is who I'm selling to next time. Because mm. when I understand the future buyers that is buying from me, their finances, what they like, all these things, then it will help me determine what is the best uh, unit that I want to buy moving forward. Correct. Okay, so yeah. we will run through a bit here. Mm. So you can see this is actually Park Rivera, four bedroom. Okay. Park Rivera is in West Coast. Yes. So this unit is bought at 1220 per square foot, make a total of $356,000. Okay. And another development that's right beside called Whistler Grand, they are side by side, bought at 1240, which is very close in terms of the per square foot purchase price. Okay, mm. but they make $632,000. So it's almost double profit, even though it's in the same location. But why is it, why is it so? So it's, I, I realize that it's down to the layout. But now we look at the layout. You look at this too. This is Park Rivera 4 bedroom. This is Mr. Grand 4 mm. bedroom. Is there a huge difference or is Park Rivera a very lousy layout? To be very frank, you see the whole thing. Frankly, no. Le. The first very... time I saw these two layout, ah. Huh. I really feel that both are very livable, so I don't understand why even though these two developments is located side by side, right? But the profit can be such a drastic difference. Today, I'm going to explain to you how do we look at this thing, which is very important. Because when you buy a brand new launch, you look at mm. floor plan, eh? same, ma, okay, ma, mm. not bad, ma, mm. correct? Mm. Yep. But when you go into resale, there is a lot of different factors that you look at. So you, when you buy a new launch, uh, how to make money is you need to imagine you are a resale buyer walking in. Mm. So what is the difference between these two? First thing first, the first impression of the house is extremely important. And buyers who are buying four bedroom are usually buying for own stay. This is standard. All own stay one. So own stay means what? Own stay means that I need to feel emotional, good. Emotional. Uh, it's more of like, example, if I like the house, is it, even if it is a bit more expensive, I still buy. True. Uh, in, in short, yeah. I put it in I this just way. want to feel shook, right? Yeah, I, I just want to feel shook. Yeah. So, the first impression, which is the point that I walk in. So, here, my point of walking here, I cannot see anything. So, mm. my first impression is here, which means that my view is like that. 
Oh, I'm facing here. So my view is like, my view of the living room size is like that. So what you're saying is that the moment I walk in this Park uh. Rivera, because the corridor is very narrow, mm. so obviously my vision is very narrow lah. Ah, uh, but I will only have big, uh, the greater vision when I hit this point. So this oh, is my first impression. Oh, right. So the living room built inside my brain uh, is this size. Hmm. Uh, but here different ah. Uh. Here I walk in ah. Uh, then hmm. my first view will be here. Why? Over because here. this part ah. Uh, this part ah. Uh, you also, is a glass panel. Wow, so detailed eh. Ah, uh, so glass panel uh, because if it's without glass panel, the, the certain size space of the living room will not be included. Mm. So when it's a glass panel, which means my view will be like that. This is the living room size, which is almost double, uh, you see. Wow. Even though it's slightly bigger. Really got difference. Uh. Uh, so sometimes they build layout uh, like mm. that. Then they build a very big living uh, kitchen like that, even though it's same size. Then it defeats the purpose. You, you get what I'm trying to say? So this one, they, they actually do it very well with the dry kitchen and the glass panel. It enlarged the living room by almost mm. double. Uh, so, so glass actually help la. Glass panels actually at help. At the right place, not everywhere. Okay. So this one make the Vista Grand look like much more grand. La. Even though it's only how, many, how, how much bigger. This is 1284. 1281. This is 1184. So it's only 97 square feet bigger. Hmm. 97 square Frankly, feet cannot have such a Frankly, if you never go through this, right? Mm. I think a lot of us probably would not know because these two layers are almost, are almost identical. Mm. Yeah. What are the other pointers? Second this? pointer here, walk-in wardrobe. Mm. Most important place, living room. Second most important place, master, master bedroom. bedroom. <laughs> so then we, they we finish viewing the living room, they walk into the master. What this guy will see? A wall. Because this is the All wardrobe. Alright, my wardrobe. So your, your, your first impression of the room is? A bit smaller. A bit smaller, a bit squeezy. What, you, when you walk in here, what do you see? I only see my room. You only see your room. So your first impression mm. of the room is? Big. Overall, this is? Best. Big. This is <laughs> smaller. Mm. Because the walk-in wardrobe for Whistler Grand, right, is, you guys cannot see, right? It's nicely mm. tucked into one corner mm. over here. Yeah. You know, it doesn't eat into your living space, mm. la, what you're saying. Just now, we are talking about very easy to spot things, like well, things to avoid, all these things. But actually, to be very frank, you really want to make money in, in, in property. The small details is very, very important. So now coming back to just now, Fred, Freddy. Freddy asked a question. Dumbbell layout is versus corridor. Mm. Jack and Julia, good. So Freddy, I would say, very simple. Dumbbell or corridor? Dumbbell and corridor is usually uh, for two bedroom because three, four usually do not have dumbbell. Mm. Okay, so dumbbell and corridor, which one is better? I would tell you both got its own mm. group of buyers. I got buyers who really like dumbbell because they space. Yep. I got buyers who really like corridor because more privacy. Mm. Okay, yep. so do not choose based on what do you think is better. Choose based on how many units of dumbbell or how many units of corridor unit is in that particular development that you are buying. So let's say I'm buying uh, this development called Trevor, for example. Hmm. If they got 60 dumbbell and they got 10 corridor, I will buy the corridor. Okay. Because so it's you, easier you buy something to, that is like lesser in lesser supply. supply. Okay. But you still have to be a good layout. La, uh, like but functional because layout he, la. he, they are asking about dumbbell and corridor, oh. which is something that is comparable, ma, mm. which got its own good. Ma. Mm. So we base on supply to determine. Then second question he asked is Jack and Jill, Jill layout good? Yes and no. If you are one toilet, you definitely need to be Jack and Jill. If you are one mm. toilet and it's not Jack and Jill, then it's going to be a big problem. Correct? Mm. But if you are two toilets, you might not need to do Jack and Jill for the master. Then for the common side, I don't think there's a big issue on Jack and Jill because this is actually a quite a small issue. Why would I say that? Because if you want, you just seal up one door. But if you ask me, two bedroom, Try not to be Jack and Jill. If you are three or four, especially four, ah, Jack and Jill is fine. But really, really depends. I think though, these are not so much of a major issue, mm. actually. But the main thing is to take note of what Alex said earlier about this kind of glass. You know, the placement of a glass is very important. And as well as, you know, the placement of the walking washer. Very, very minor details. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, next. This is the crest in... Uh... Red Hill. So this guy made $247,000. Not bad. But another condo just 
a road down, and I think it's actually further away from the MRT, made 730,000. Principal Simi. Garden, yeah. three bedrooms. So why is this so? Okay, just now we show you two layout. One, very good. One, not bad. Yeah, this uh, one we show you. One bad and one good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we are supposed to be yeah. politically correct. No, but this one outright is bad. <laughs> uh, how I argue, say this one is good. Wow, this layout, I tell you. Uh, I mean, Crest is a very nice development. So you have all the odd shape. Lah. What's the triang triangular part for? <laughs> These are some things that is not so good. But the main thing is that you, you see the main difference between principal and the crest is the crest come with a long G shape of mm. uh, living room. Mm. The plus point is that there is a window here. La, but this type of living room will make the house look a bit smaller. Okay? Mm. But principal garden come with a square shape of living room which means that the panel of window will make the house look brighter and bigger. And very important, principal garden got what? Private leaf. So back entrance and uh, private leaf, which is very important to here. Because this is already very close to CCR region. Principal garden is just one street across this here. If this layout is built in Yishun, Woodlands, Tampanese, Jurong, it might not work. Heartland area. Because the people there are looking more towards practicality. Mm. Not saying that the principal garden here is richer or what, it's not. It's just that the things that they are looking for is different. The lifestyle, la, the, um, the, the preference. Yeah, in a way. So the people in Jurong might, one, two, three, they might want, might as well buy a four bedroom rather than a three come with private leave. Uh, but in this area, this is important because this is a more prestige area that we are looking for. So this got to relate with the, um, the profile of your resale buyer, the preference, mm. right? Next one, Sky Habitat. If you guys know where that is, it's actually next to Bishan MRT. Uh. And if you drive past, right, surely cannot miss one. Because the facade is... Very nice. Beautiful. Uh, the, the, the architect is the one who built... MBS. MBS. Every unit different size. Ah. Because the building is like that. Like a, like a pyramid, is it? Yeah, correct. So this unit will be bigger than this one. This one will be bigger than this one. So it's very very hard to get. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Now uh, I remember. That's why mm. we didn't do analysis on this project as well. Very it's seldom. Almost impossible. Huh? Yeah. So the profit for Sky Happy Dad, 1 plus 30, 175,000. Okay. Two bedroom, 113,000. Wow. Over how long? Uh? Mm. Wow. Ten, 10 years. 10 years. So I don't think they make money. Huh? Mm. Then for... Jetscape, 397,000. Five years make 400. <laughs> Jetscape is located near um, Marymount MRT. So if you compare mm. Marymount and Bishan, actually Bish Bishan is more premium, right? I definitely think Bishan is more convenient. Nah. You have mm. all the things that is in place. You have the shopping malls, you have the coffee shop, you have everything that you want. You have the schools there. Not saying Marymount is not a good place, but Bishan is definitely more, more, more mature. Preferred, la, more more preferred. mature and pre so preferred. buying a more like preferred or mature mm. area also doesn't necessarily guarantee you more profit. Yes. One of the deciding factor is this on layout. Okay, let me tell you guys, right? Sky Habitat 1 plus study and Sky Habitat 2 bedroom, you can see that it's between 710 square feet to 800 over square feet. But for the 1 plus study, look at the balcony space and this study area over here. Frankly speaking, uh, if this 700 square feet layout can be properly done, uh, I have seen 700 square feet that is dumbbell layout, which is very nicely done, right? Mm. And you see the two bedroom, 893 square feet. Look at the balcony. Takes up at least maybe close to half of your living space. Mm. And the thing is over here is op also an open kitchen. And if you are uh, wondering what is PDR, that's powder room. It's for your guests to use, like a toilet, but oh. you cannot bathe. Oh. So, I first time in my life, I see two bedroom got powder room. Because <laughs> powder room is usually for four and five bedroom. La. Okay. Usually, the private leaf come out, the powder room will be yeah, right yeah, in front yeah, for yeah, five yeah, bedroom, yeah, yeah. Uh, for guests to use one. So, yep. I mean, I'm, I'm shocked that I see the powder room here. Okay. Wow. Yep. Okay. So, versus Jetscape. You can see Jetscape. 
Just keep the size right. It's 775 square feet. It's a size in between Sky Habitat's one plus study and also the two bedroom. But you can see the layout. This is the kind of layout, right? That is the best of the grid. Let me tell you why. Uh. Look at this kitchen area over here. You can see that the kitchen has a window. How many two bedrooms in the market? You got see enclosable kitchen with window one. Handful only. Very, very mm. little, ma. Yep, yep. Right. So very, very little supply. Then you look at these two bedrooms. Actually, are a very good size because you can put at least, you know, a queen size or a king size for the master bedroom. It's very livable. Uh. Bishan and also Marymount, this kind of area, right? For the two bedroom profile, it's a bit different. It's a combination of uh, own stay and also investments. So this, the two bedroom in this estate, right, is not purely for investment only. There are quite a bit of young couple buying the two bedrooms here for um, mm. uh, own stay reason. And also down, like those people are looking to downsize from the landed nearby. They are also looking at such size. Mm. So this is a very livable two bedroom. That's why that explains like, the difference in profit. You see, five years close to 400,000 and the other two over 10 years only 100 over 1,000. Both this layout behind me, they are integrated projects. Just now, we already went through this one, which is Bundle Residences, right? Mm. Alex, make a guess. Where is this at? Water Town. What? No. Long Park Residence. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, Bundle and Yishun. Which one is more mature? Or rather, which one will you prefer? Most of you prefer to stay. I guess a lot of people will say Bedok, right? Or, or I will say that Bedok prices of property are higher. La. This is Higher, ma, uh. right. But in this case, right, Yishun side, right, if I see the layout, or rather the profit, right, you can see that these North Park residences, which is above Yishun MRT, mm. yeah, make close to what? Double the profit of Bedok residences. North Park is actually only 800, over, uh, 800 over square feet. Whereas mm. this Bedok Residences is 1,002. So the ROI, this one will be much higher. Confirm. La. Confirm much higher. A lot of people say you buy big units, uh, means you earn more money. Ma. <laughs> but in this sense, no. Because the big unit go to where? The balcony. Yeah. So uh. you must see where all the space go to. If it goes to like areas that are not usable, then you have to reconsider. Mm. Okay, now, ta da! Alex, a lot of agents also say. <laughs> Must buy big development. <laughs> Correct, <laughs> not? Agents, if you are watching, is it you tell your clients don't buy small developments because small developments cannot make money? Or even client, uh, consumer that is here. A lot of agents do tell you that don't buy small ones. Or even you yourself have a mentality that don't buy small. We are not saying that small is definitely a good buy, but it's not just one factor that will determine everything. Being a small development, but you still have a good layout, maybe you will still make more money than a big development with a lousy layout. That's true. So where is this small development? This small mm. development over here, it's the Pearl and Mount Favor. I don't think the profit is 342000 now. Really? I think, think it will hit about a million dollars. Oh, we haven't, you know, we haven't updated the yeah. latest data. This layout is very mm. fantastic. And this project, right, um, is located at the Mount Faber, the bottom of Mount Faber, not, not the top, not the hill top, okay? Mm. So um, this layout actually got less than 200 units, but they do have very um, healthy condo facilities, like, mm. health, like good condo facilities, la, right? And this over here, this is reflections. Location-wise, I do think that they're comparable, mm. but, but the profit, you look at it. Yeah, profit wow. over here. This one, 160 is three, four, three. Three times, three times. And the sizes, you notice, is almost similar. It's in the 1,300 square feet range. I, I believe there, actually, the profit has went up recently also. Uh, so, so you see, I think per is only 100 plus unit, am I right? Yeah, uh, slightly, I think close to 200, but not more than 200 units. Then, uh, reflection is how many? 1,000 over. Oh. So doesn't mean that big one is good. Huh? So there's there's a lot of factors that will be affecting you. Okay, so next we are just going to run through live analysis of current development using some yeah. of the layout. So this live analysis of um, different developments, because we have shown you all the projects that have made a lot of money, right? But today, if you are a buyer outside, right, what kind of project have this kind of layout that can almost 
uh, let you enjoy this kind of profit. These are the few projects that we are going to point out to you. Mm. And one of it, I think Alex is going to cover, is mm. on the botany at Dairy Farm. Okay, mm. it has a lot of similarity to what you have shared earlier on layouts that can make money. So we have circled a few places and now I can do some explanation to you. First, why we, why we uh, box up this place? Uh, because it's a white li uh, balcony, which means it's a white frontage living room. So which means that it will be bright, okay? Which is what I mentioned. Second part, uh, just now I told you about Pisla Grand is that this is a glass so that the, okay. the view is very very big. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, you can see the whole thing. <laughs> uh, uh. But now you look at here, uh, this one is even better because this whole piece uh, is glass panel. So piece glass panel, which means the living room space uh, is the whole place. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, th this currently the show flag shows this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you if you if you guys are curious how it feels like to be in such layout, right? Do have a look, you know, at the show flag. Hmm. Okay. Then the master have the same layout, but here you can see it's slightly bigger than here. So which means that here you still can fit in a nice dressing table. One last thing. This. Botany 4 bedroom layout is actually better than Instagram. Why? Because the last bedroom can fit in queen. Here is a single. Oh. So you have an additional plus plus point. Lah. Okay. So the rest is almost similar, which is we want to replicate something that is successful, that have made money, to buy something that is similar also. And we do understand for botany area, uh, dairy farm area, that there mm. is a lot of buyers are buying for homestay also, so they are looking for all these things. Uh, so, why they can build a bigger bedroom? Because they do not have this wasted space. But they still have a lot of privacy. Why? Because they walk in, this is the DB box. Over here. Uh, so, so, for botany, is, area. Uh, you, you, you will not be having privacy issues also, but you save out on the space itself. Ooh. Okay? This is the miss. The miss. And botany. So, you can see this is 1518 square feet. This is 1292. But if you really go down and see, Actually, because this part, uh, this whole part uh, is, I'm blocking. is like a whole full living room space. Uh, it's almost the same as this one. Do you realize? It's almost the same because this kitchen is all boxed up. There's no window. There's no glass. So the kitchen and the living is separated. But this one, the kitchen and the living seems like one, one whole thing together. Which means that in the impression of the buyer, they will feel that this one looks very big. Then the rest of things is almost similar, except this one got a better walk-in wardrobe. Lah. Key thing is the price. Because of the size here, this one is going at 2.5. This one is going at 2.866. Eh. 340,000 difference, but in resale, these two might look quite similar. similar in terms of the feeling that the buyers are getting. So what I'm trying to say here is, uh, if you buy something like that, and it feels like 1,005 square feet, you are able to achieve a 1,005 square feet the sales price. Uh, not saying that you will be able to achieve the same price, but next time they want to sell 3.3. 3, uh, uh, this one, I sell 2.9 also. Okay, well, people will prefer me. Uh, I sell cheaper, uh, but I feel Very the same. Very safe. La, because uh, you already, your size is mm, similar, right? And mm. someone else you know, already help you to cushion this price. Yes. So uh, even I sell 3 mil, or I sell 3.1, which is still cheaper than them, but I, I mean the, the size feel the same. But I will make more money because I bought 300,000 cheaper and I sell 200,000 cheaper. So I will make the difference. Spotting the right type of layout is important. Why do I stay by right type of layout? Right type of layout meaning that it's something that is you feel bigger than what you buy. buy. Yes. You buy 1,002 and it feels like 1,004, right layout. Your win. Ah. Your win. So uh, this is Hugh Heaven and Botany. Yeah. 1259, 1292. Almost similar in size. Correct. Key difference. This one, small balcony. This one, big balcony. Big balcony. Okay. Where is the space? This one go where? Uh, the kitchen also. This one, the living room, like this size only. This one is, just now I show you. Uh, the whole big size. Uh, you can see from here. So where's the space? They built a junior master. Ooh. Which is good. But it's not a must for four bedroom. Especially oh, really? in this area. I would say it's preferred, but if I got to sacrifice my living room size for a junior master, mm. a lot of people would not want. So you can see, uh, 1292 and 1259, uh, but mm. this 1292 look much bigger. Uh, of course, Hill Heaven got another size that is uh, 
uh, having the right size layout, everything, but it's one three plus square feet. Mm. So same in terms thing. of price, there'll mm. be a bit of difference also. And this is typically how we do, you know, real life analysis. Mm. Because when you are looking into a development to buy, right, you also need to check out your competitors. Like how much are they selling? Is their layout better? And you also need to take a check on the resale projects nearby, right? These mm. are all the essential homeworks like, before you actually buy into the property that you're looking in today. Mm. If we, if we look at it this way, next time in resale time, when they go and view this property and this property, they will feel the size different, but the price they are asking will be the same because this one is asking for about 2.5x million on launch day. This one is also going at 2.5x mm. million mm. because the size is similar and it's almost the same location. So what I'm trying to say, if this one want to sell 2.9 and this one want to sell 2.9, the buyer who view here, will prefer to go here because the size is, they feel so much bigger. So, so this is how we actually, we, when we analyze a layout, we need to understand our surrounding, what type of layout mm. they have also. Okay. But mm. Alex, actually a lot of people will also say, hey, Hugh Haver is, and the miss is nearer to MRT. Ma. Yeah. So what's your take on that? Since, you know, the price, even though it's higher, mm. but it's nearer to MRT, will you actually go for the layout or go for accessibility? Uh, okay, it, it really depends. Uh. I mean, if we are looking for units, uh, to buy, uh, to rent out, uh, mm. uh, MRT is very important. Okay. If you are looking for units to buy, to stay and to sell to future own stay buyer, uh, MRT might not be the most important. Mm. Okay, I, I just run through this part a, a bit with you. Uh. Why, why I say that? Because when you buy for own stay uh, in the resale time, uh, when you drive to the condo uh, and it's super crowded, can't move your car, then you jam outside 15 minutes, then you go into the condo, will you buy? Your first impression already gone. But if you go into an area that you drive home, it's very smooth, it's very nice, it's a lot of greenery, uh, then there's something that you'll be looking for for own stay. Mm, I mean, I, mean I, I can't say everybody thinks like that. Some people are still want convenient because they do not drive. Mm. But there's still a good number of people that is looking for comfortable. I think if you have a condo that is right smack in a lander and this condo got a lot of people driving by, I don't think the lander owners there will feel nice, will feel good. Because lender is supposed to be a bit more exclusive. Ma. Mm, no? To be very frank, lender and condo is the same. So just for example, I always ask people this question. Super. So why Coven landed is cheaper than Serangoon Garden landed? Serangoon Garden can walk to where? Serangoon Garden can walk to where? I don't know, I don't live there. <laughs> can walk to MRT? <gasps> no, la, very far. Very far. Can walk Chong Chong. Can chong Chong can. Chong chong can. <laughs> but, but why is Coven is cheaper? Because... <laughs> Lander people do not like to be in the area that is crowded. When we buy houses, we want we just want to feel good. La. So when we drive in, when we view house, we don't feel good, we don't we don't buy. La. True. So next, done. Very important. This is a special segment that we for you. Guys, you might want to pay attention to this because these are like even more tips to help you gain even more profit for your future house. Yeah, so today we are going to give you two special uh, segments. Uh, one is how to spot layout which you can modify to increase your profit margin. So there is some developments that is available in the market that you can do that. But there is a few factors and there's a few checkpoints that you need to do before you understand whether this can be done. So I'm going to take Jaden as an example. Where's Jaden? XJQ. XJQ. <laughs> ah, tear down already now. Very famous this one down. because like, hmm. they, they sold so much, eh, like 80% Eighty-eight percent. Eighty-eight percent. Do you do you do you guys know that the highest PSF clock at Jaden right now is like over two thousand eight PSF? Uh, of course, every development, I believe there's some good things and bad things. So why do I say Jaden can modify? Okay, so you can see the floor plan. Hmm. How do we modify? Actually, it's quite simple. We can change the door, okay. or we seal up here. We open it here. So which means that from a two plus study, you will become a three bedroom. But if you want to make this into a master, you have to shift the wall over. Then you make the door here. So how do we know whether this can be done? Whether this next time I can sell? Because I mean, if they have another three bedroom, who will want to buy my modified three bedroom, right? Unless oh budget. La. So we need to understand first thing, the unit distribution in the development that we are hmm. doing this. Oh, so you see Jaden here, there's two plus study. 810 to 850 square feet. So this is 850 square feet, this unit. Which is a 2 plus study. After 2 plus study, the next jump 3 bedroom uh, is how much? 1140. In fact, it's 1141. So 1141 uh, is a 3 premium. 
which means uh, this one starting from 2.054, this one starting from 2.4 million. The difference in price is about $360,000. Wow. Because there's a big jump in size. What if I'm a three bedroom buyer, but I can't afford a three bedroom? So, so the question is this owner, uh, when they buy 2.4, they have to sell how much? They preferably Point will want 2.8, yeah. 2.9, so let's say 2.8 lah. Mm. Then got a buyer came in, uh, they only got a 2.5 million budget, want a three bedroom in uh, uh, Jaden. Buy from who? Two plus study. Buy from these people who convert this 2.05 million into a three compact using this and sell at 2.5. Wow. So what I'm showing here is because there's a missing link of layout. And my layout allows me to do minor renovation to convert. If you need major renovation, don't bother. So actually right now in the resale market, there are a few projects, right? Where the two plus study, the study mm. space is actually good enough to be converted into a mm. third bedroom. Mm. However, you must also take note of what's the supply and demand, la, right? Yeah. And also the price gap. If the price gap is actually very near, for example, this two plus study and the three bedroom price gap is very near, mm. there will be no purpose to convert the study, yes. right? Or maybe they have very little three bedroom there. Mm. Uh, then you can look at all these things. So next, this is a small development. For small development, what is the usual problem? Because the land very small. Mm. So the layout is what? Compromise lah. Compromise. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but some small development come with decent good layout. <laughs> so now we look at this Javois Treasure. This is a project that is in the District 10, Freehold. So why is this good? Because first thing, you come in, kitchen, got a very big piece of window. So why is window important? If you go to a show flat and you go to a resale, you see very different thing. Why? Show flat everywhere, they put lights. So everywhere is bright. But when you go into a resale, if there's no window, you close this door, you, in the afternoon, even in 12 p.m., it's total darkness. Uh, so you need to on light in your living, uh, kitchen all the time. But if you got a good piece of window here, which means that the sunlight will come in, in fact, the whole place will brighten up, which is something that will make you feel better. Second thing, both toilet got window, which is extremely important in today's market. Mm. Uh. Why? Uh? Because no window means what? No ventilation, no, no natural ventilation. They then have what will the happen? Moldy. Then you will get moldy. Uh, this mm. is what a lot of buyers say. They, they will use the machine, uh, but no use one. Uh. But is this quite common ma, for the two bedroom? Don't have, uh, what's that called, window. Uh, yes, so got window is something that is very special. It's very rare. Plus uh, point. La. Plus this is a small development. They will usually sell cheaper. Oh. Uh, because they can't achieve what the de de developments are selling. Ma. So they will sell cheaper. Mm. Uh, but if they come with good layout with, uh, and sell cheaper, I think there's a good chance that you can actually make profit from it. Okay. okay. So another layout is actually the three bedroom. This is also John very Boy's decent. Treasure, three bedroom. First time in my life, I see utility this size. So the utility is of decent it's size and come with window. Okay. So there's natural ventilation also. Like, if not, a bit jialat to sleep inside. La. Then this whole part, la, white color means la, that la, uh, is a very low wall. Which means la, my, my, my clothes can go out. La. But now the key thing is what? The key thing is that we just received news that they are going to offer this. So they are going to offer deferred payment scheme. Wow, deferred payment scheme actually usually EC, only ECs have, right? Uh, yes. Private very sad. Private have. If they reach CSC, the developer can do it. Oh. Because this is a private treaty. Mm. Okay, the developers are not allowed to do deferred payment for brand new private launch. Mm. But once they uh, take keys and TOP, one year later, they CSC, they clear the whole loan ready, mm. they can do deferred payment. Which wow. means that they are like private sellers selling to you. They can do whatever terms they want. Mm. So now the developers, initially they do not want, but now they are offering this 1% uh, option fee, 9% exercise fee, 90% payable one year later. So if you are taking loan, you take one year later. Does that mean that like, I can get the house immediately after the 9% is done? Mm. So the biggest problem is what? Uh, you get, get the house from here, two to three weeks later. Because it, we, you, we need to do the defects all this. Ma. So, so you I can, can do start writing already. Uh, you can start renting so the now. thing is, a lot of deferred payment, the developer doesn't allow you to rent. Yeah. Because the renter is still done by developer, not you. Eh. You okay. can't sign, eh. you are not the legal owner. Oh, then how? But this developer, they allow. So, so they will do it for you. 
So means once I pay the nine percent mm. exercise fee, mm. I can rent out. You can rent out. Wow. After after you take his lah. So my mortgage is. So no mortgage. No mortgage. Oh, yeah. So you're not affected by the high interest so in today's full, market. Wait, so is what? Every every month's rental income is like to Ooh, my pocket. So let's say this one, uh, we take as a two bedroom is about 2.03 million. Uh, mm. uh, you will have 6,000 estimated rental to your pocket. Two bedroom here. Two bedroom. Uh, multiply by 12, you will get 72,000 back. Uh. So which means that I will purchase at 2.03. Minus 72. And the cheapest you need actually start from 1.91. Two bedroom. Means I'm getting about one, at 1.7. 1. 1.8 1. plus. 1.8 wow. plus. For a free hole in the CCR region. Wow, this so, is like free money. So, why is developer doing that? Uh, from what I understand uh, is that they, 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 already, they already paid the stamp duty. But from what I understand is that they want to clear this account. Because the developer is fragrance group. Their main focus point are still hotels. Mm. Uh, they don't build a lot of residential. Sometimes they do here and there. And this project has been stuck with them for very long. If you've got spare money or you are looking for investment, this is something that you can really, really consider. Because you avoid the biggest problem in today's market, which is interest rate. high interest. Second, high price. Because you buy lower than all your neighbours. Because mm. the price has already pulled down slightly. The highest done in uh, Javoy Treasure is 2008. Today, you are going at about 2.5, even before the discount in terms of the rental. One year later, the interest rate would have probably dropped already. La. Maybe I think 2.5% possible. La, because I think uh, if the bank is offering fixed at 3% mm. and floating at 4%, mm. it shows that they feel that the rate will drop below 3%. Mm. If not, why they give you fixed True. at 3%? Uh, someone just asked, because uh, you mentioned COVID landed price lower, so how about private debt? They seem to price higher like Florence compared to neighbor like Midtown. Oh, understand. Uh, so Florence and Coven landed is a bit different. Uh. Florence, if you drive in, the entrance really make you feel damn good. Midtown, uh, you don't even realize it's a condo. I go to the shop, uh, I cannot find the exit. Uh. Which means you go inside the mall, uh, you cannot access all the unit one. Uh. Mm. Okay. There's some shop is at another door. Some shop is at another door. <laughs> it's confusing, know. no? I don't know how the architect do. Uh. It's very, very, <laughs> very difficult to sell Midtown. And the traffic is more congested in Midtown area compared to Florence area. Now, lastly, we are going into our... Q&A! What is your take on private property moving, uh, market going forward? So, in the past, last two years, there isn't a lot of supply. So, a lot of people, they went ahead to for the resale market. That's why resale prices search up so much. And if there is any new launch in the market in the past two years, right, you can see that the tick-up rate is what? 80%, 90%. Hmm. But currently, this year, I would say it's buyer's market. So this is buyer's market. In a way, the price will not drop per se. It's going to be stabilised. However, if you are a buyer in today's market, you are probably overwhelmed with a lot of options. Mm. So I think what's most important is like based on the budget that you have, right? Okay, we, you really need to be careful about what you're going to buy. I will give you a very uh, honest answer and bold answer. I feel resale price will drop. Why? Because resale are directly affected by interest rate. So uh, a lot of buyers are not buying because interest rate is very high. So interest rate, if it's good to stay for another year, is definitely going to affect the price. And that's why some buyers are moving towards the new market because they do not need to pay interest. But overall, the market has slowed down tremendously. So you can see uh, the first two launched Arcadi and Hugh Heaven for the year of 2024. That will be a very clear indicative of mm. how the market is going to be like. But my prediction is it's not going to do fantastic. Correct. Maybe about... Yeah. I, I feel it's about 15-30% sold. I think it'll be back to if those people mm. out there who are um, were in the market mm. in 2019-2018 mm. period, right? Mm. We are back to that market where there will be a lot of supply. So, um, launches tend to go a bit slower. Yes. So, someone just asked, uh, <laughs> is this a buyer's or seller's market, right? I think someone just... I mm. can tell you, it's not a buyer's, not a seller's market. It's a stagnant market. Sellers refuse to drop price. Yep. Buyers refuse to match seller's price. Yeah, it's a... But in new market, new launch, it's a buyer's market because you will see that a lot of developers are pushing down price 
to be close to their break even price. Hmm. Which means that when they close, selling close to break even is the, the developer is cutting margin uh, to move units. I think we still still need some hmm. time because a lot of sellers they are still thinking the market is still hmm. relatively good now. They still want a very high price. So hmm. I believe it will take about a half year or one year in order for seller to start to accept this reality. So it's kind of in an awkward situation yes. right now. Yeah. One more question that is interesting is will the continuous sales be affected by launch of Tembusu 2? Ah, so first, we need to understand. Tembusu 2 is by who? I, I work with the developer, so they, it's by Simlian. Uh. So Simlian, the type of layout that they build are usually what? Are usually very practical layout. Hmm. Uh, so will it be affected? It's very two different products. Why would I say that? Tembusu is 99. Continuum is freehold. Continuum is building layout 3 bedroom, 1,002 square feet. 4 bedroom, 1,004 plus square feet. The prestige one. Tembusu is building layout. I don't think they will build like that. They will build 3 bedroom, um, 900 to 1,000 square feet. 4 bedroom, maybe 1,002 mm. to 1,000, 3,004 max. So it's not going to clash because two different group of buyers. Buyers who are buying Continuum will be looking will be looking for buyers who don't care about the price. Uh. They just like want to feel good. Like legacy planning, you know, they love uh, freehold. And they love yeah. good layout. They yeah. love, uh, you know, things like that. But people who are buying Tembusu too might be HDB upgraders who want to enter East Coast area. Correct. They are looking for practicality. They are looking for prices that is cheap. Mm. Cheaper in terms of the overall area. But with limited budget, yes. like a lower entry price. So I think it's essentially mm. very different group of people mm. out there. So uh, that's why I say it wouldn't be directly affected, but I feel still feel it definitely will affect in some way or another. Like, cannot mm. be totally no. Like, oh. mm. So I got another so question. One more is, you mean new launch is the way... I don't mean that. <laughs> I feel that it's not, it's not like the way. I mean, some people, some of my clients, right, there is no way they can buy a new launch also because they really, for some practical reason, they have got a key, they need to leave and they need to move mm. in immediately. So they can't afford to wait. But generally, in the market right now, um, new launches will be a safer option due to a few factors that Alex has shared earlier regarding the entry price because resale prices right now is really at a tipping point. So there is a lot of um, risk over there which Alex is going to share right now. So I can't say new launch is the way. Why I say I can't say that? Because it's very determined by different location. Okay, um, Many factors, layout, prices, mm. uh, surrounding prices, uh, surrounding uh, demand, surrounding supply. How do we determine? For example, I just share with you. Uh, now, uh, if we go to uh, the Tembusu area, so District 16, Seaside, if you are done your, uh, go and see your transaction, you will see a three bedroom, uh, not a one, two bedroom, a three bedroom transacted at 26XX per square foot. This is about a 10 years old project from the day they purchased the land. And Tembusu Grand is going at the four bedroom, about 2280 per square foot. District 15, brand new. Can buy or not? Well, looking at this, it's quite clear that this is actually a good buy. Four bedroom. But Tembusu Grand two bedroom is already calling at 2,008 per square foot. So I would, I would have better choice elsewhere. So mm. do, do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm not saying that all new launch are good. There is certain new launch that is good. Uh, but not everything. So today, there's a, is, there's a pocket opportunity to buy something like that because developers have problems selling everything. Uh, they are not like uh, one, two years ago that they can clear everything in, mm. in the short run. So they will re be running some uh, good Promotions, prices, yeah. promotion. Sometimes a new launch, you might feel that, oh, this is a new launch, maybe they will drop price. I can tell you, if you do your research enough, you know that they are launching very close to their break-even price, which means that they got zero margin ready. And then that mm. might not be no problem. Very unlikely lah. Yes. So, they won't mm. drop price, but it will take maybe relatively longer mm. for them to increase price. Yes. Because the basic break-even margin is already there. So there is really, it's really challenging. Mm. If anything, they are going to make a loss. Mm. Right? So like for example, Florence, which is last time, uh, their break-even is about 13XX per square foot. Mm. But the cheapest unit is done at 1290. And you know this one, uh, I buy cannot go wrong. How can the developer drop further? 
Uh, so there is some properties in the market that's like that, in today's market. Very close to developers break even. Thanks for spending your time with us, your night Thank with us. Thank you. And we hope we will do our next live soon. We will see you soon. If yes, we will just post in the page. Yes. Okay? So we we'll see you all soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you.